Hi everybody, Susie Day and welcome to my channel. I am Human Dick Cho and I introduce you in this short video about the entrance rules and about the visa condition of the wonderful Kingdom of Cambodia. First of all, take money with you. Dollars, 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 dollars. American dollars, not Australian dollars and not any other dollar of this earth. Why? It is very hard to be accepted with credit and debit cards from the government side. In big markets you can use them of course, but not when you buy a visa. So take enough cash with you. And by the way, every family member over two years needs their own visa, means more cash. So the second you need to know, if you are a first timer to come to this country, take the aircraft. Come by aircraft is much easier. Why? Everybody on the airport speaks fluently English. By the way, it's almost a second language here. The dollar is the second currency. And why also? Because they do this every day, hundreds of times for the guests. Word guest. Everybody is welcome here, especially the money. So, in the middle of March, Cambodia was the first country in Southeast Asia which opened the border again for foreigners after this cough hysteria. This is wonderful and I congratulate this kingdom. You know, first opens, first sees. I mean the money. And they do a lot here, especially in Siem Reap, for the tourists to be comfortable again. The roads are repaired, the hotels are opening, the stores are opening, and all humans here are welcoming you, mostly with a smile like they did this 20 years ago in Thailand. But back to the visa. There are two main visa. One, the tourist visa, and second, the e-ordinary visa. The tourist visa is for all of which want to come for tourists, backpackers, or just to come over another country to visit for a day trip here from Thailand or Vietnam or any other surrounding land to come to Cambodia. This tourist visa costs $30 in cash is valid for 30 days and is just for one entrance. So if you leave in the second week, for example, Cambodia to Vietnam and you come back, you must make the whole procedure again. Procedure means you have to make an application form for the visa, you have to make a uh, form for tax and duty, and the third one is temporarily for health uh, regulation. That's it. They make from everything picture, but okay. Second, the ordinary visa. It is called also e-visa, but it's not the same as you will find in the internet. This is an email visa which you can make through the embassy in your country. This is here a special form. And be aware, some other videos told, oh, it's now more difficult to enter the kingdom or to make a visa. It's not 100% uh, correct. The only thing is that you cannot prolong a tourist visa anytime. So it means, it's best if you make an ordinary visa, it costs you $35, is valid for 30 days and also for one entrance. The same as in tourist visa, if you leave the country, you have to make the whole procedure again. So the difference between the tourist visa and the ordinary visa is, if you have an ordinary visa, you can this prolong to a multiple visa for half a year or for a year. This is especially for human which want to live here, which want to work here, or which just want to stay longer, like students or family members, as more as you need two months, then this is really advice to make. The tourist visa, also the ordinary visa you can prolong for 30 days, it will cost you $50 plus handling fee. You can do this in travel agency, in Phnom Penh, in Siem Reap, or in any other big city of this kingdom, Cambodia or I will advise you for a small fee, of course, and just write to me. By the way, in other videos, I will explain you about living costs, I will explain you about tuk-tuks, I will explain you about languages, and, and, and. Just watch my short videos, so that this video is not going too long, I will also go on. So these uh, multiple visas I just told you for six or 12 months are especially for business human, for pensioners, engineer you are here above 55 years then you can apply for such visa 
For a student, also easy to learn a language, Khmer, for example. Swiss day means hello, this I told you at the entrance of this video. And this costs you from $300 plus handling fee above. Pay attention, the handling fee can be between $30 and $200 for each visa, each human. This is important to know. So, what else to know? Some human of this world, they do not need so much money to enter the kingdom. For example, Thai human, they just need a visa, they don't have to pay. It's the same as you go to Angkor Wat, very famous in the earth. There you pay at the moment for a foreigner $37 a day. Thais or Vietnamese, they pay of course less or nothing. It depends, because they have the same belief, Buddhists, whatever. So. Uh, this is already the end of this video. Again, I made a resume. Tourist visa, 30 days, $30. Prolongation for one month means 30 days, $50 plus handling fee. Ordinary visa, $35, 30 days, one entrance. Can be also prolonged for 30 days for $50 above. And the ordinary visa is the only visa you can now prolong for a multiple visa, like six or 12 months, multiple means. You can leave entrance, leave entrance the kingdom of Cambodia whenever you want during six months or during one year. That's the best if you are a pensioner above 55. So if you like this video, press the like button, tell to other friends of you or to family members which want to visit this kingdom I can really tell you, take cash once again and be happy if you enter this kingdom of Cambodia. You will feel self like a king. Thank you for watching my video. See you in the next. Lihai. Bye bye.